Welcome to the Blight Gravity Challenge. I'm not really feeling too hyped up right now. Like, I know I probably should be doing this challenge when I'm more, like, happier. But I've been, like, really sad lately for various reasons. And I don't know. I just really wanted to get this uh, Blight Drafting Challenge done. And... If you don't know what the drafting challenge is, I just buy perks. I, I'm going to get to level 50. I'm going to get all these perks that I get to level 50. And then I'm going to try to win three games with a... No, two games with a 3k or more. And that's about it. That's the drafting challenge in a very quick nutshell. In a very depressing tone nutshell. I'm sorry. It's... it's uh, I don't know. Like, I'm not really looking forward to this. But we'll see. This is... Let's just try to have fun with it and see where we go. I'm going to try and complete the challenge today. So, like, I'm trying to do all the rest of the episodes today and see how that goes. So, let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're done. I bought all the perks, and we got some new ones, that's for sure, but actually it's just mostly the old one. <laughs> I really want barbecue back. <laughs> it helps so much. And would modern abuse really help with that much? Maybe lethal pursuer so I can just get to them immediately? I think that'd be pretty good. Because I, I was... On my off camera times, I was practicing a lot with Save the Best for Last, and Save the Best for Last is actually a little more helpful than I really thought, but I kind of want to just stray away from that for now and try to do something else. So let's just try to, like, start the game as quickly as possible and, like, cause all kind of mayhem with this. So let's, uh, go. Alright, game number one. Let's see if I've gotten any better with play. I forgot I had Lethal Pursuer for a second. I tried to swing there. Didn't work. Oh, where'd she go? Yeah. That was really awful feeling. I had nothing to run into. That's very significant. Oh, well, like getting two downs like that is pretty good. But I felt like I could have done that Yeonjin a lot quicker if I 
just didn't fuck up my uh. rush. I feel like that's like the, my main issue with the plane blade right now is that I can't really get his rush like how people connect those hits like super consistently. Hmm. Is abandoning my position really that good here? I guess so. I mean, that was a really quick down. So that's gonna help my pressure tremendously. Yep, still can't use that when that bullet pilot. Maybe just eat a D-Strike here so it's just like out of the way for future. Yeah. I really wanted it just out of the way. That's why he didn't use his dead heart either. <laughs> that must have felt awful for her. And they're not really playing all too well. Actually, oh, went this way. Okay. okay. Are you really going to abandon them like that? Oh, there's no pallet here, that's right. Sorry that I'm not like talking much. Like I said, I'm not really feeling too well. And like blight requires me to concentrate a huge amount. Like a really huge amount. Am 
My hex on dying showed me where she was. That's pretty cool. So they spread the missiles out so much like that, I was able to get all these hooks. So. And Kablamo! Yeah, I still. Yeah, I'm still like really iffy on Blight. Like, uh. There are certain things that just like really like catch me off guard, I guess, about him. GG's. Alright, game number two. I forgot I stood up cars that look because they're not at head level. I should know better by now, but it's still frustrating to like do. That chase pretty fast. I mean, relatively fast, I guess. You could say that. I don't know why she did that. Let's just eat the D-Strike now, because we have five gens left, so who the fuck cares? So now she won't have it for later, which is gonna really suck. Oh my god. You're meaning to tell me that a fence doesn't count? Are you serious? I hate like reading her like a book, but I can't do like these like fancy 90 degree things. So I'm just stuck like uh, looking like a fucking idiot some most of the time. Like, this is, like, the shitty part about wasting your D-Strike so early, when you don't have to. Like, you could just choose not to D-Strike, by the way. So now you're completely tunnel tunnelable. Okay. Damn. I should have tunneled her, but it's whatever. I, f I forgot how long Borrowed Time even lasts, because it's just like... I don't like to keep like all the fucking information in my head completely all the time, you know? Like, 
Bro, time lasts 25 seconds or something. I like only counted to the 20, so I didn't really fucking know. Okay. It's blocked. You play stupidly. I got, I don't know, like, but people like this, they kind of piss me off when I face against off them because they're like, she's gonna have D strikes, so I'm gonna have to chase her again. Never mind. She didn't have any of those. So now, like, they just left these two poor people in, like, such, like, a bad situation. Because they wanted to play like that. They're gonna commit to it? Either. For whatever reason. Like, I wouldn't understand committing there. Like, yeah, you got a gen done, but you didn't last very long for the other person. You do, like, three gens, you know? So, like, what was even the point? Of even completing that gen. Maybe they had a challenge to complete the gen, which is, you know, fair enough, but. If you're gonna try winning a 2v1 like this, you don't just try and complete gens anymore. It seems completely pointless to me. Okay. Now I got Shaq to deal with. Let's go throw the pallet right away. He did not get two shits. And then he's gonna do- he's going to another god pallet. So it's a pallet that I just can't do really anything about. I'll just look out hit him too. Then he finds another pallet. Cool that, uh, that slid right off that ambulance. I really wish I could find the other person. Oh, there she was. Okay, I'm just gonna drop him. I'd rather have the fourth BBQ stack anyway. Man, I'm sorry that this is like such a depressing episode. <laughs> it felt like I had like two really easy games back to back. 
I'm like, I still had to play pretty hard, I guess, but it's just more like I didn't really feel challenged at all. I don't know. It's just like I get that I've been uh, practicing Blight without getting any kills. Like on my off camera, I'd be like, okay, I'm not going to kill anybody so that I don't have like complete highest MMR survivors to face. But at the same time, like this was actually pretty easy because two people made this so incredibly easy. I don't know. It's a, DVD is such is is in such a bad spot right now because I think it's like what everyone's saying. There is no in between. It's either I completely dominate or I get completely dominated. And I remember times when I it felt like it was a nice in between where I was having fun. <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye bye. Check me out, y'all.